All right, welcome to Canterbury's Learning to Brew 101, Episode 7, Brewing with the Bun U3 Urn. First thing we want to do whenever we're brewing with the Bun U3 Urn is make sure that the brew indicator is at or in the green brew area of the thermometer to make sure that the water is at the optimum temperature for brewing coffee. Remove the brew funnel from the funnel support. Take the lid off. Insert one bun 18 by 7 inch paper filter into the brew funnel. Take one 12 ounce portion of ground Canterbury coffee. Pour it evenly into the bottom of the filter. Make sure that you level the bed of coffee in the bottom of the filter so you get good extraction. Set the funnel back in the funnel support. Put the funnel lid on the funnel, take your brew swing arm and center it over the top of your funnel lid, making sure that your bypass is centered over your bypass funnel on your support so you don't have water running all over the place burning anybody. Once it's up to temperature, make sure the machine's in the on position and press your start switch and start brewing coffee. Once we're brewing coffee, never ever move the funnel, uh, the brew arm away from the funnel while water is running out of it. It is coming out about 200 degrees and it will give you some very severe burns. And now we'll just wait for a pot of coffee to be brewed. Now that it's finished brewing, move the water swing arm away from the top of the funnel. Lift the funnel up, make sure there's no water dripping out of the bottom. Empty the filter paper and co coffee into the bottom of a garbage can and replace the brew funnel. Now you're ready to drink coffee. Stay tuned for our next series on how to build a flush toilet out of toothpicks and duct tape. She's casting a shadow. They said she'd never cast a shadow. <laughs> Just stand here going. Tuck, 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 tuck. Help me, Sam Adams. Haven't you made coffee before? No. Alright, oh, that's right. Just get her boy to get it. Speaking of which, boy! <laughs> <laughs>